What happens when one of the world's most advanced fighter jets suddenly gets a power upgrade from one of the greatest engine manufacturers on the planet? Take Sweden's Gripen E. Already hailed as the smartest, most cost-efficient 4.5 generation fighter, it has quietly rewritten the rules of modern air combat. But now, imagine pairing it with an engine solution that boosts power, slashes operational costs, and directly threatens the United States' multi-billion dollar F-35 sales around the globe. That's exactly what Rolls-Royce has done and why the Pentagon is losing sleep. The Gripen E was never supposed to challenge U.S. air dominance. Yet, long before any Rolls-Royce upgrade, it was already shaking the traditional American defense model. How? By delivering high-end capability at a fraction of the cost. It can take off from short, improvised runways far from massive air bases. It operates with minimal logistical support, cutting the need for expensive maintenance hangars and it can turn around in minutes using just a handful of technicians. For smaller nations, this combination is game-changing. They don't need billions of dollars or sprawling air bases to field a competitive fighter. So, how exactly did Rolls-Royce transform this already formidable jet into what many now call the Pentagon's worst nightmare? Stick around, because the story isn't just about engines, it's about shifting the balance of global air power. Friends, show some love by liking this video and subscribing to Skyjet Wings for original, in-depth defense updates. The Gripen E isn't just clever, it's dangerously smart. Its advanced sensors, cutting-edge electronic warfare suite, and network-centric design let it see first, shoot first, and often outperform jets that are far larger and far more expensive. Years before any engine upgrade, the Gripen E proved a staggering truth. A nation doesn't need the F-35 to field top-tier air power. That alone was enough to make it a threat to the Pentagon. Enter Rolls-Royce. The very company that powers the Eurofighter Typhoon, Britain's nuclear submarines, and some of the most reliable turbines on Earth now brought a technological breakthrough straight to the Gripen E. Sweden's wish list was clear. More thrust? Check. Stronger heat management? Check. Lower infrared signature? Check. Higher energy efficiency? Check. Simplified logistics for small air forces? Check. Rolls-Royce delivered all of it. Their upgrades enhanced engine durability, lifespan, cooling, fuel efficiency, and heat suppression. The result? The Gripen E became faster, stealthier, and more agile, while maintaining its famously low operating costs. The Pentagon wasn't expecting this. These upgrades didn't just improve the Gripen E, they elevated it into a new class of fighter. Sharper acceleration, longer endurance, a stealthier profile, yet the aircraft remains cost-effective, making it an ideal option for smaller nations seeking high-end air power without the billion-dollar price tag. In the next segment, we'll explore how this new Gripen E could reshape global air power dynamics and why it's keeping U.S. defense planners awake at night. The Gripen E isn't just upgraded, it's dangerously transformative. With these Royals-Royce enhancements, it dominates beyond visual range combat, carries heavier payloads, maintains higher energy in dogfights, and stays airborne longer than ever before. Its improved thermal management reduces the jet's infrared signature, making it harder for enemy sensors to lock on and giving it better survivability against modern heat-seeking missiles. The Gripen E didn't just get better, it became a far more compelling alternative to American jets, reshaping the global air power landscape in subtle but profound ways. And here's the Pentagon's real worry. It's not just the Gripen's capabilities that are impressive, it's the strategic threat it represents. The United States relies on the F-35 program not just for air superiority, 
but to maintain political influence, long-term maintenance contracts, and strategic leverage over Allied air forces. But the Gripen E, especially with its Royals-Royce upgrades, offers nations a cheaper, independent, and highly capable alternative, one that Washington cannot easily restrict or veto. What truly terrifies the Pentagon is this. The Gripen E represents a shift away from American dependency. A fighter jet that is modern, powerful, export-friendly, inexpensive to operate, and not tied to U.S. political strings directly challenges the military and economic ecosystem the Pentagon has built over decades. The Gripen E isn't just a jet. It's a statement, a challenge, a new variable in the global air power equation. And that is why it has quietly become the Pentagon's worst nightmare. In the next part, we'll break down how nations around the world could leverage the Gripen E and why this could change the balance of air power forever. That's why the Pentagon is nervous. More than nervous, it's technically shocked. The Gripen E's Rolls-Royce engine upgrade wasn't a minor tweak. It fundamentally rewrote the aircraft's performance profile in ways the U.S. simply did not anticipate. The upgraded engine delivers higher thrust, faster acceleration, superior climb rates, and more energy in dogfights. Enhanced cooling and thermal management dramatically reduces the infrared signature, making the jet harder for modern SAMs and heat-seeking missiles to track. Integration with Sweden's Eriksis Electronic Warfare Suite further complicates detection, jamming, and targeting. The result? The Gripen E now flies with the efficiency of a fourth-generation fighter, survives like a fifth-generation jet, and does it all at a cost the U.S. cannot match. This combination, efficiency, survivability, and affordability, is exactly what the Pentagon never wanted to see. A fighter that can outmaneuver, outlast, and outsmart expensive American jets while remaining export-friendly and cost-effective is a strategic nightmare. In the next section, we'll explore how the Pentagon is reacting behind the scenes and why the Gripen E could reshape alliances and the global fighter market forever. Thanks for watching. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. The Gripen E's Rolls-Royce engine upgrades don't just enhance a single aircraft, they disrupt the global balance of air power. As performance, efficiency, and survivability leap forward, nations that once depended on U.S. jets now have a credible, high-end alternative that Washington cannot control. The ripple effect is massive. Within NATO, smaller nations can field advanced Gripen E fleets without breaking the bank, balancing power against larger members and fostering a more independent European defense structure. Outside NATO, countries like India, Brazil, the Philippines, and Colombia gain access to a modern, unrestricted fighter, increasing their strategic flexibility. In the long term, these upgrades strengthen Saab's position, boost competition in the fighter jet market, and erode America's monopoly over high-end air power. Think about it. A lightweight, agile, brutally efficient Swedish fighter now powered by one of the most advanced engine technologies on Earth. The result? Outperforms fourth-generation fighters, challenges fifth-generation jets, costs a fraction of the F-35, and isn't controlled by Washington. This is why the Pentagon is worried. This is why the F-35 program feels threatened. And this is why Rolls-Royce has quietly turned the Gripen E into America's worst nightmare.